Hello everyone! We're going to balance two simple redox equations today using the oxidation number method. And we will clearly list out all of the oxidation numbers in a table. The first one will be in an acidic medium, while the second one we're going to look at will be in a basic medium. So let's begin! We have Au plus NO3 minus plus Cl minus reacting to produce HAUCl4 plus NO2, and the reaction occurs in an acidic medium. First thing I'd like to do is to make a table. On the left-hand column, I will list out all of the reagents and the products. The reagents and the products will be separated by a horizontal line. The last row is for the change in electrons, and we will talk about that in a moment. In the top row, we will list out the individual elements involved in the reaction. Now, we will fill the table with the oxidation number of each element in each compound. AU, which is gold, does not have an overall charge, so its oxidation number is zero. Oxygen in NO3 minus is going to be minus 2. Oxygen is almost always minus 2, other than a few exceptions, such as O2, H2O2, and OF2. In those cases, the oxidation numbers are 0, minus 1, and plus 2, respectively. So going back to NO3 minus. Since oxygen is minus 2, and there are 3 of them, that would give us minus 6. The compound has a charge, an overall charge, of minus 1. Therefore, in order to end up with an overall charge of minus 1, nitrogen must be plus 5, since negative 6 plus 5 equals minus 1. Chlorine, being a group 17 element, which is a halogen, is always minus 1. So in HAUCl4, chlorine is minus 1, while nitrogen is plus 1. We have four chlorines and one hydrogen, so that makes minus 3. Therefore, to end up with an overall charge of 0 in the compound, gold must be plus 3. For NO2, oxygen again is minus 2, and there are two oxygens, so that makes minus 4. Therefore, nitrogen must be plus 4 in order to end up with an overall charge of 0. Now the fun part. We're going to write down the change in electrons for each of the elements. Let's start with gold. Gold started out with 0, then it became plus 3. So that means it has lost 3 electrons or negative charges. So we will write down minus 3 in this last column, or sorry, last row here. Nitrogen started with plus 5, then it went down 1, and became plus 4. So it must mean that it has gained one electron. Therefore, we will write plus 1 here. There is no change for oxygen and chlorine, so we will just write down 0 for both of these. Now we will write out the reagents again. This time, we're going to calculate the total change in the number of electrons for each compound using the numbers we wrote down in the last row of the table. For gold, the change in the number of electrons is minus 3, so we will just write minus 3. For NO3 minus, nitrogen has a change of plus 1, and there's only one nitrogen, so we will write down plus 1. There is no electron change for oxygen, so we don't worry about it. Therefore, the total change in the number of electrons for NO3 minus is plus 1. For chlorine, there is no change in the number of electrons, so we write down zero. What we have established here is that gold has lost three electrons, while NO3- minus has gained one electron. This means gold is oxidized, while NO3- minus is reduced. Since we need to balance the number of electrons gain and loss between the two compounds, we're going to multiply each compound having an electron number change by each other's number. So gold will be multiplied by 1, while NO3- will be multiplied by 3, giving us 1 gold 
and 3NO3 minus. This way, the electron's loss equals electron's gain. Now we're ready to start balancing. We write out the equation again. We already know that there is one gold and three NO3 minus. We will start by balancing the non-hydrogen and non-oxygen elements. Since there are four chlorines on the right side, we will write four here for chlorine on the left side. We have three nitrogens on the left side, so we'll write a three here for NO2 on the right side. Next, we balance the charge. There are three minus one charges plus four minus one charges, and that makes minus seven on the left side and zero on the right side. Remember that we're working with an acidic medium, so we will add some H plus on the left side to make its charge equal to the right side. Next, we will look at the number of hydrogens. There are seven hydrogens on the left side and one on the right side. So we will need to add three H2Os to make both sides number of hydrogens equal. Note that unlike H plus and OH minus, water will not affect the overall charge. Lastly, we will balance the oxygens. There are three NO3 minus, so that makes nine on the left side. And on the right side, there are three from the three H2Os that we just added and three NO2, so that makes nine oxygens as well. And so this equation is balanced. The final balance equation is one AU plus three NO3 minus plus four CL minus plus seven H plus to produce one HAUCL4 plus four NO2 plus three H2O. Let's look at a second example in a basic medium. Again, we will copy down the reactants and the products in the table. Now make sure you're correctly copying down the charges or else your oxidation numbers will be incorrect. Then we list out the individual elements. In CRI3, iodine has a minus one oxidation number. We know this because iodine is a group 17 element. There are three iodines, so that makes minus three. The overall charge is zero, so Cr or chromium must be plus three. The overall charge of Cl2 is zero, so each Cl also has to be zero. In CrO4, two minus, each O or oxygen is minus two because Oxygens are almost always minus two. And we have four of them, so that makes minus eight. In order for the overall charge to be two minus, chromium would have to be plus six. In IO4 minus, each O is again minus two, so that gives us minus eight. To get an overall charge of minus one, I would have to have plus seven in this case. Cl minus is just minus one. Okay, so we get to the row where we put in the change in the electrons for each element. Chromium started out with plus three, and then it went to plus six, so must have lost three electrons, and we will write down minus three. I went from minus one to plus seven, so it has lost a total of eight electrons. So that's minus eight. There is no change for O. And now for Cl, it went from a charge of zero to minus one. So that means it has gained one electron and we will put down plus one. We're again writing the reactants so that we can tally up the total change in the number of electrons for the whole compound. CR is minus three, and there's only one of them, while I is minus eight, and there are three of them. So we will do minus three plus minus eight times three, which gives us minus 27. 
For Cl2, each Cl is plus 1, and there are two of them, so the total is plus 2. We will now swap the numbers between CRI3 and Cl2. This tells us that there are two CRI3, each losing 27 electrons to 27 Cl2s, which is each receiving two electrons from the two CRI3. So this exchange involves a total of 54 electrons. Now we will write down the whole equation again and write the coefficients of CRI3 and Cl2. Next, we will balance the non-oxygen and non-hydrogen elements. So since there are six iodines on the left, since two times three equals six, we will write six over here on the right. There are 27 times two CLs on the left. So we will write 54 CLs on the right. Then we will balance the charge. There's a zero charge on the left and two times minus two plus six times minus one plus 54 times minus one is minus 64 on the right. Since we're working with a basic medium, this time we will add OH minus to the equation. So we will add 64 OH minus to the left to balance out the 64 minus charge on the right. Then on to the hydrogens. Since there are 64 hydrogens from the OH minus we just added, we will add 32 H2Os to the right. The reason we add H2Os is so that we are not affecting the charge. Then lastly, we will count the oxygens. There are 64 on the left and 64 on the right, so this equation is balanced. And we will have 2CRI3 plus 27Cl2 plus 64OH minus, producing 2CRO4 2 minus plus 6 IO4 minus plus 54 CL minus plus 32 H2Os.